Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Thursday, the first day of August 2024. Open your mouth this morning and begin to say, Amen, I believe as I receive. I want to say congratulations to everyone hearing the sound of my voice this morning. Welcome to the month of August, the eighth month of the year our month of satisfaction the lord will satisfy you with all good things in this month everything you are desiring from the lord the god of heaven will make them happen for you in this month of august in the name of jesus christ in the book of first kings chapter 6 verse 38 first kings chapter 6 and verse 38 that is the scriptures that the Lord dropped in my spirit while waiting upon him for the new month. And it reads, 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 38, And in the eleventh year, in the month, in the month bull, which is the eighth month, was the house finished throughout all the past thereof, and according to the fashion of it, so was it, so was he seven years in building it. That is, that is talking about the, the temple, building of the temple, that it took seven years to build it, but it was completed in the eighth month of the year. I am praying for somebody who is saying, Amen, this first day of August, that in this eighth month of the year, the Lord will satisfy you, the Lord will satisfy your family, the Lord will bring everything into satisfaction and completion for you, in the name of Jesus. As the Lord empowered the project and backed upon by King Solomon and his followers, God empowered them to complete it in the eighth month. So I am praying for everyone hearing the sound of my voice and you believe that whatever I pray, God will answer. This month of August, the Lord will satisfy you spiritually. The Lord will satisfy you physically, maritally, mentally, academically, in every area and in all aspect of life, the God of this commission will satisfy you with all good things in the name of Jesus Christ. I am praying for somebody this first day of the month. You will not see evil. You will not know evil. All through this month of August, evil will not come near you. When you go out, the Lord will preserve you and exempt you from evil. When you are at home, the Lord will not allow evil of any kind to befall you and your loved ones. In Jesus' name, I am praying for you that all through this month, the Lord will meet your needs. The Lord will send, the Lord will send helpers to you. You will not be miserable. Untimely death shall not be your portion. In Jesus' name, I want to pray for pregnant women. Who are go the pregnant women who are going to be delivering their baby or having their babies delivered in this month of August? I am decreeing by the authority of the Lord that God will satisfy your heart desires. God will make you to deliver peacefully in this month. There shall be no error. There shall be no complication. There will be no manipulation from anywhere. In Jesus' name. Oh, I want to pray for those of you that are going to be maritally settled down this month. You are going to be getting married, whether you directly or your loved ones or your son or anyone around you. I am praying that everything about the wedding program for this month shall be successful in Jesus' name. Those of you that are going to be attending one or two interviews in this month of August, I am decreeing that it will be in your favor. It will go your own way and the Lord's name shall be glorified in Jesus' name. Everyone that will be traveling this month, whether locally, nationally, or internationally, the Lord will grant you journey mercies to and fro shall be peaceful. There shall be no air mishap. There will be no accident anywhere in Jesus' name. I'm praying also for our elderly ones, our senior citizens. The hand of the Lord will rest upon you. All through this month of August, I pray against sickness in your life. In Jesus' name. Oh, I am praying for somebody this beautiful Thursday morning, first day of August, that all through this month, the Lord will take you out in peace and you will return in peace. 
God's name shall be glorified in your life. In Jesus' name. Uh, this is a season and period of holiday. Many of our children at home now, all it, you know, enjoying their holidays. I pray that all will be well with them. None of them will fall sick. None of them will die prematurely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am praying for somebody today that the Lord will grant your heart desires. All through this month, you will not be available in the places of crisis and confusion. The Lord will lead you out in peace and God will bring you back. As Solomon completed the building in the seventh year, in the eighth month, so God Almighty will help you and God will complete all your projects for you in Jesus' name. The Lord will increase you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will connect you with good men and women, people that will help you, people that will assist you in Jesus' name. The Lord says I should tell somebody that this month, he will bless you with your own testimonies too. I say amen to that. The Lord will bless you with your own testimonies this month in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Beloved, in our Bible reading, this Thursday morning, the first day of August, we are reading the book of Ezekiel chapters 23 and 24. The book of Ezekiel chapters 23 and 24. And in our daily communion with God, we are on page 227, page 227, and our heavenly meal for this first day of the month is keys of the kingdom. The keys of the kingdom. Please read and the Lord will bless you. You know what we do every first day of the month? I need to encourage you to keep it up. On the first day of the month like this, I always encourage everyone, give God a quality thanksgiving offering. The Lord will spare your life. The Lord who did not allow you to go with the month of July. The Lord will open your eyes to see the bright, the, I mean, a bright new day. Give him a quality and quantitative thanksgiving offering today and also extend a right hand of fellowship to somebody today. Let something go out of you to another person today. It may be small, it may be big, it may be whether monetary gift or material gift or even food. You can buy something for somebody. Just make it sure, just make sure that something leaves you today to another person's hand. Let that person tell you, God bless you. Once the person pronounces that, you are surely going to be blessed. So please do it today and the Lord will bless you. Let me take one or two testimonies this first day of the month. The first one I'm, I'm taking is a good morning testimony. Good morning, sir. I've come to give glory to God. I have two overdue testimonies. Anytime I want to give my testimony, I always forget or get occupied with something else. But today, I said I must send it. My first testimony is concerning my first semester results. Last semester when my result came out, I got a carryover in chemistry. I was surprised because I never thought I would fail that course. So many people were complaining about it. Some people accepted it, but I kept saying that this is not my result and it can't be my result. I didn't complete to any school, any school authority. I just kept on trusting God. Several weeks after, I had even forgotten about the result. When we got an, 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 an when we got an announcement saying we should all go and recheck our results again, I did so expectantly. And to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil, I checked my result and saw that the carryover had been changed to B. So I passed that course with a B. I am overwhelmed. I've come to say thank you to Jesus. Anything is possible when you put your trust in God. Another one say, okay, my second testimony. During the January fasting and prayer, you asked us to write a letter to God. I wasn't diligent with my fasting and prayer though. I missed several days and the devil kept putting thoughts in my heart, in my head saying, how can I write a letter with my prayer request? and expect God to answer it when I didn't fast like others. I disregarded the thought and went ahead to write my letter. 
I want to give glory to God because even though I didn't complete the fast, He's still merciful enough to answer my prayer request. So far, I have seen results in three of my prayer requests already. The first being financial provision, second, my business, and third, my result. He has proved for me so many times when I wasn't expecting from money from anywhere, even when I did not even know where my next money will come from. He has continuously provided for me. He is blessing my business. I've been getting orders from different places, and I'm forever grateful to God for everything He has done for me. And I believe this is just the beginning. He will do much more for me. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a glorious thanks and a testimony. Another one is here. Good day, our dear Father in the Lord. I'm an ardent user and broadcaster of Hour of Destiny since 2022. I wish to testify to the glory of God that he has shown me mercy. I wrote six prayer points during the January fasting program, and five of them have come to pass. It took away my shame and reproach from me. Now I don't depend on people to feed my family anymore. I have something to, I have something to also give to people and for kingdom services. May his name be highly glorified. May your ministry continue to blossom and be a blessing to this generation. Thank you, sir. I'm so so person from worry in Delta State. Wow, that's a good one. Another one is here. Very short but powerful testimony. Good morning, servant of the Most High God. Please share my testimony from Yola. As a result of the two days program we had with you, I am the woman that met with you one-on-one -on -one concerning the money I lent to my son in Senegal and I refused to pay back. And you said, God will answer all my prayers. Behold, after four days, he sent 160,000 naira to my account instead of 150. This can only be God. I am eagerly expecting the remaining three testimonies, sir. Thank you, man of God. And I want to return glory to God. May the oil on your head never run dry praise god father we thank you for these testimonies of your children i pray you will bless us with more testimonies everyone believing god for you our own too receive in jesus name remember don't forget to read your bible today the book of ezekiel chapters 23 and 24 ezekiel 23 and 24 read your daily communion on page 227 with the heavenly meal keys of the kingdom don't forget to give god your thanksgiving very big thanksgiving offering today and also remember to extend right hand of fellowship to somebody by giving something to somebody today god bless you tomorrow if jesus studies will continue our teaching that was started a few days ago about pollution god bless you have a lovely and a beautiful month of august our month of satisfaction the Lord will satisfy you with everything you are trusting and believing in for. God bless you. Have a lovely day and a wonderful month in Jesus' name. Amen.